morning. Welcome to to Sunday the 29th. Are we on the 29th? We are on the 29th. I have been to the gym. I have done an hour of body pump. My kitchen looks like a bomb's hit here because I have made two pots of soup. So our Ruth is really not well. She's really chesty and all of that. So as a good Greek mother-in-law, the Avgol Mel uh, Av blah, 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 blah. Avgol Lemony soup goes on. So it's the egg and lemon soup. So George is on his way around to pick that up. But I like to add drachana to it, which is here. But George and Ruth don't eat drachana. So once they take their portion, I'm gonna add the drachana. Kind of looks the same, doesn't it? I'm gonna add the drachana to the Avgol Lemony because that's how Luke likes it. And I'm gonna add halloumi to it as well right now i've got chicken in it for ruth because she likes chicken in it where is it there's chicken in there we go there's chicken in there so yeah that's what i've been up to also been to aldi's to pick up a few bits and pieces i've unpacked i've got some rolls for ruth for her soup because she likes white bread she can't eat um wholemeal or anything like that so i've got her some white rolls i've got some organic eggs I and mean, there's everything going on i got my usual stuff that i get and then i saw this in aldi's and i picked that up for luke as well so a nice cutlery tree for him because when i was in i didn't see any cutlery trees in the drawers so that'll do him it's quite a good size one actually that'll do him anyway is that doubled there? I don't know. But anyway, that's what I've been picking up. People, it's going to be another one of those vlogs where it's all over the place, right? We've been to the house twice today, to Luke's house. The settee has been hoovered. Not had time to go and steam it. He's had the, his bed's arrived. His mattress has arrived. So that was two different... Um, can I pick you up there? <laughs> Till he comes. I'm waiting for him to come back. Um so he ordered the mattress from one place and he ordered the bed from another there he is just coming just now we're now on our way to go and get Hi people we are <laughs> in the driveway <laughs> you can't get it this way <laughs> are you taking the mick at your mama uh, so we're on our way now to get a bucket a mop because the cleaners who are coming on tuesday for hygienic is that right hygienic reasons for hygienic that doesn't sound right for high well that's what the word is hygienic okay for hygienic reasons anyway they won't use their mops they have to use luke's mops which i think is great and his hoover so um yes yeah, so he's gonna go and purchase a mop oh, we've got a list full of things here but i'm sure we'll follow him in there right mops. let's go do it mops more mops <laughs> Gosh. There's a whole set here, look. How much is that? That'll be one of those spinny ones, isn't it? it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. There's other buckets up there. We go with your kitchen. Is it? Is it just the bucket? Pedal. It says pedal activated. So this is what we've got so far. We are home. We are in Luke's room. I requested that everything goes in his room <laughs> until it goes to his house. So we have one ironing board. I think that was about fourteen pounds. Bucket. There we go. Uh, six pounds uh, got the quilt 15 tog king size so that's the juvie we've got a shadow here um, this was 20 pounds they're all downstairs discussing oh the football okay so we have kitchen paper a duster um, what's this? Rubber gloves, industrial rubber gloves. <laughs> hey! Wash 
uh, washing tabs, aerial washing tabs. There we go. Flash floor cleaner, bleach, quilt cover. These are the things I'm going to have to wash for him. Uh, that was £14, king size. That's to go with that. That one needs washed. Uh, fitted sheet. This was £9. Thought that matched well with that. So this this is why I needed Mama there to make sure things matched. Now you know he's his mama's boy. You've got to have one of these in the household. You need one of these people, I keep telling you. Barkeeper's friend, brilliant stuff. Uh, what else? He got some cutlery. I need to wash all that for him. Bin liners, they were two pounds. This was a cutlery set. This was £22. There we go, I think. How many is it of everything? Oh, it's eight of everything, this one. So eight forks, eight knives, eight spoons and teaspoons. Ideal. Uh, what else did we get? Dustpan and brush. You just need a dustpan and brush for so many things. Even great for brushing down doors and things when they've got grooves. Use that. So, ideal. Uh, All-purpose cleaner there we go washing up liquid well i said i said this didn't i yeah the carpet stain remover perfect always i mean i use these all the time i'm gonna try and do that on this use that on his city as well a uh, uh, washing machine cleaner so we're gonna run that through the washing machine and there should be yet yeah, a dishwasher one as well a dishwasher deep cleanser as well because people we saw the state of the fridge so i doubt very much they rinse their plates before they put them in the dishwasher so i haven't even looked to uh, to see the filters in the dishwasher but anyway dishwasher and so anyway we've got a dishwasher cleaner so that's all the bits and pieces and then i'm going to give him some things i've got dusters and things i'm going to give him from the house and of course all that was in his wash basket. This is the same as mine. These are great. Brilliant. Okay. Whew. So, there we go. Assuming he's left the mop in the car. Look. Okay, my people. It's that part of the video where we sit down and we have a chit chat. We answer some questions and all of that. So, I've had my dinner. I showed you what Luke has bought. I've had my dinner, which was roast pork, uh, parsnips, sweet potato, cabbage, and all of that. And it was absolutely delicious. And a little tiny bit of wine. Cheers. So, let's do a little Q&A and a little catch up now. Just to finish off the video. And I did say, not last night, but the night before, that I was going to touch on... A little bit of YouTube drama. I'm going to do that today because I'm a woman of my word, people. I'm a woman of my word. So, first question comes from Terry. She messaged me via Instagram and she says, I have a question for your video. Over here, people are stealing all the time. People steal all the time. People have always stolen. Stealing is nothing new. Do you fear wearing your high-end bags? No. I don't fear wearing my high-end bags at all. I can't think if I ever been in a place where I have felt uncomfortable. If I felt uncomfortable about wearing them, I wouldn't wear them. But I'm the type of person that takes my designer bags with me. The majority of my bags are designer. Listen, if you're into designer bags, then that's what you use. I don't really use non-designer bags very rare very 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 rare for me to use a non-designer bag of some sorts so which is brings me on to a tag that i need to do a, um that Jacob tagged me in where it's a, a non-worry free bag blah 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 anyway so we'll leave that one aside so i take my designer bags with me it's part i'm going on holiday it's a time that I'm going out all the time. I want to enjoy them. So I don't see the point of not taking them in the same way. You know where you people are now, you're seeing all the time 
ads are coming up on Instagram. You see people going, oh, I'm, I'm wearing a fake diamond to wear on holiday and all of that. People, right? If it's so unsafe that you need to wear a fake diamond, don't wear one at all. Why Why wear a fake one? I don't understand. If, if you're still giving the impression that you've got a great big diamond, then you're going to get, if it's so good, right? If it's so good a diamond, the, it, if it's so good a fake diamond that it looks like a real diamond, somebody's going to attack you for it anyway. I, I, I just... I just don't understand the mentality of this, right? I'm not going to take my real diamond just in case somebody steals my my real diamond. So I'm going to wait wear a really good quality fake diamond that actually looks like a real diamond. So how is that going to stop somebody attacking you for that diamond? Explain that to me, people, because I don't understand it. For me, uh, no. I, if, if I feel so unsafe, then I'm not going to wear it. I'm not going to take it. Do you know what I mean? But um, I have not been in a position where I feel so unsafe that I'm not going to take my designer bags. Anything I take that's designer or worth any money, it's going to be in my hand luggage. It's certainly not going to be, be put in a suitcase, whether it's a bag, a shoe, jewellery, piece of clothing, whatever it is, it will be in my hand luggage. So, no, I've bought my stuff. I'm going to enjoy my stuff. That's what I use okay so i hope i have answered your question terry so that's that one so on thursday when i was doing my ironing i had said i'd been watching some videos whilst i was ironing it was it's a good way for me to catch up so i'd watched the one on tamara and i'd spoken about that and i watched another video by melinda purse what's her youtube name hold on till i check purse love purse love some hold on till I, check. I have found it and it was by Lux Purse Love. I will link the video below. And it was, it's, the title of the video was Last Q&A of 2023. Why did I come back to YouTube? Of course, it was a lovely title because it uh, drew me in. But obviously, I am subscribed because um, it was on my feed. I thought, oh, this will be a great one to watch. It's one I can iron and listen to. Actually, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So she spoke a lot about handbags to begin with. And then at the end, we got to the nitty gritty people. Grab your cup of tea. I'll have my wine on this one. But actually, I really did enjoy it. And I, I posted on, on her video, which I don't think I got a reply to incidentally um saying that i had thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it it felt like a heart to heart i, lo I love videos like that and it felt uh, very sincere and very honest although she didn't name certain people so we all know that melinda and leo lyon were really really good friends this is what i spoke about in one of the videos about you know you friends about YouTube friends becoming friends and then you see a lot of them eventually falling out. You see, you see these in real, you see these real kind of deep friendships, like from no friendship becoming real deep friendships and then all of a sudden you see that happening and you see that a lot on YouTube. You see that in real life, okay? Um, because it's out there for us all to see then you know then we we have a chat about it and I'm chatting about it openly Melinda spoke about it openly so Melinda made a video she came off YouTube she was obviously going through a difficult time I can fully understand that and then there was also I think some other YouTube drama going on as well I didn't actually get into that but it was between up uh, two other it was between melinda and another youtuber but at the same time i can't re even remember now if it was melinda that came off youtube first or leo lyon but it wasn't long between the two of them i know this is old news so melinda is making this video and then she spoke about she started speaking about forgiveness and um forgiving the people that 
she'd fallen out with, right, basically. She'd, she'd forgiven them and um, even the, there was a, a, apparently a person that really hates her and she'd forgiven that person and she prays for that person. That takes a, listen, that takes a big, big person to do that. So well done, Melinda, because it, t it takes a lot. It takes a lot to forgive somebody. I'm going to go off again. I'm going to go on a tangent again. But for me, it's, for me, I, I find when somebody has done something to me personally, I, I find it really, and I know, I know it's wrong. I, it takes me a long, 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 long time to forgive. And I don't actually know if what I do is forgiveness. I think what I do is I let it go for my own sanity. I let it go. Do I... It's like, do, uh, have I forgiven them? Have I forgotten about it? Certainly not. I, I, I'll never forget any wrongdoing that somebody does to me. So does that mean I haven't forgiven them? Forgiveness is a very complicated thing. I have learned to let go of things, which is a hard, hard thing. It took me a long time to learn that lesson, to let go of things. And I did it for nobody else but for me and for my loved ones i did i did it for for that reason because the more i didn't let go of what certain people did to me us i made my loved ones suffer for it as well so time taught me to let it go I don't know if that's forgiveness. There's certain people like is is forgiveness. It's forgiven. Oh, this is not where this was supposed to go. See, I don't understand. So if I forgive somebody, does that mean I have to welcome them back into my life? And no. See? For me, the true meaning of forgiveness is to welcome that person back in and say I truly forgive you let's embrace let's no 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 I'll just let it go and I'm not going to be bringing it up and you know feeling that <gasps> hatred for that person da, 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 da. but you're not coming back into my life so if you're not going to let that person back into your life, that to me means you haven't actually forgiven that person. This is complicated, people. This is compl I've let it go for my for me, for my own sanity. I've let things go. Okay, this was not what the video was about. So Melinda was explaining that she has forgiven these people that have done wrong by her. She prays for them at night she wouldn't want anything bad to happen to them so that's amazing but she touched on some people that she felt close to and who were there for her okay she never ever mentioned Leo Lyon Linda Leo Lyon and Leo Lyon would always mention Melinda in her videos and Melinda would always mention Leo Lyon in her videos. This is all allegedly and this is all assumptions and you can all do what you like with it. I'm speaking as a viewer and this is my point of view of watching the video, okay? And so she never mentioned Linda at all in the video. And she spoke about a certain person that she should have listened to her family because they were saying everything that this person was showing to her couldn't be true, couldn't be right, couldn't be... 
it was interesting. It was a very, very, a very interesting watch. I enjoyed the whole video. It wasn't just that bit at the end. So all of this came at the end. I will link the video below. So there you go. I hope um, Linda is not offended by this. I'm just analysing what I was watching, <laughs> people. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. And I know... Um, she spoke highly of Andrea, who was also a YouTuber, who is also an amazing lady. And I chat with her as well. So I hope I'm not offending Andrea in any way by speaking about Melinda. Because I know they are really good friends. And Melinda was really speaking highly of Andrea and how she was there for her and she is a lovely lovely person Andrea is an absolutely lovely person so it's not coming from a bad place people but listen I'm a content creator and I'm chatting that's <laughs> what I'm doing okay so um yeah I just thought I would space it up a little make it a little bit more interesting and for those of you that are not really into youtubers and the luxury community this means absolutely nothing to you but for the luxury community people if i put these names on my title i don't know if i am i have no idea what the title's gonna be right but if i do trust me people are gonna click right all those nosy people not not you not you my people that just watch my all my videos and all of that I'm not talking about you okay I'm talking about the ones that are gonna click on just to have their wee mm, do you know what I mean and make me out to be the bad person but they're the ones that are clicking because I have named certain people <laughs> I felt a bit like that in um, what's the name HRH they <laughs> I felt a bit of her there <laughs> Must be the Greek. I actually felt a bit of a good. <laughs> anyway, listen, people. We're here to entertain. I keep saying that we are here to entertain. That is it. So there you go. That's my little bit of tea this evening. I think we should leave it here. <laughs> if you have anything nasty to say to me, go away. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> So that's my little bit of tea that I had promised I was going to talk about last night. Um, so I have discussed it tonight. I totally forgot last night actually. But um, there you go. Feel free to, if you've watched the video, feel free to share your thoughts nicely people. We're here to say things nicely. We can share our thoughts. But we don't want to speak nastily about anybody. We're just here to discuss. And... Um, if you don't care that's fine but i just thought i would share some of the tea and give melinda some extra views <laughs> oh, dear me. right my people oh, this girl has been working hard let me tell you so tomorrow we're gonna go and steam the city which we didn't do today but, oh, you, you people Luke filled, you know the, the Hoover thing, the, the container that takes the dirt, filled one of them of the filth that came off the couch. When he lifted the couch, he says, Mum, yeah, I sure have seen in between the couch. And you know how we found the sock? Remember I showed the sock that was sitting on the banister? He says there was another sock in the city. And he says to me, guess what I found in the city? And I went, pants. By the way, Talking of pants in the city, have I shared this on YouTube before? Will I share it now? Oh, should we leave it for tomorrow night? We'll leave that one for tomorrow night because I still got to edit this, people, and it's quarter to seven. So, if you go to Primark, make sure you get yourself one of these because it is beautiful. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for being here with me and I'm gonna as always link two videos right here and A right here and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!